Hey, it's Virulink here. Uh, today is a different kind of segment I just started. It's called Before You Buy VR. If you watch Game Ranks or know about Game Ranks, it's kind of like that, but for VR games. Um, not all games might be uh, paid for. Some of the games might be free like this one, but I just wanted to make a video similar to that because I noticed no one really makes a lot of Before You Buy videos for VR. And I love the way that Game Ranks has done it, so I want to try to emulate that, but in a VR space. Today's game is called Touring Carts. So Touring Carts is developed and published by Ivanovich Games. Um, it's on platforms such as Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Microsoft, Windows, uh, Macintosh. Um, it's also on Steam as well, but it just got released on Oculus Quest 2 on App Lab. So I'm pretty sure you're guessing by now that you can figure out this game is basically Mario Kart, but for VR. And it definitely plays like that with some VR advantages. Like with any VR game, this game also makes you feel like you're actually inside the world. When you go to get power-ups, you actually have to physically go and get your hand and grab them. And then you can throw them at people or use a hammer to like mess with people. This game is actually really cool and I really didn't expect all the ways that they utilized uh, VR. Now, I'm going to be honest, uh, this game is not perfect. It does have some bugs that were very, very frustrating to me. Um, I don't know if that's because I was playing with like a uh, hen uh, sensing movements and I wasn't using the joystick for control or what, but sometimes when I would try to steer the car would randomly like just lo lose control out of nowhere and I would just crash and I would get really, really frustrated. Okay, what the hell? Why does my car keep losing control? Bruh, why? Why? Why does it keep happening right there? That's bull. That's what that is. That's straight up bull. Um, but other than that, I haven't really seen a lot of different um, bugs or anything like that. Now this, I mean, this game is on App Lab, so it's still in development and it's not actually a full game yet. Um, the developers did say that they are going to keep it free uh, just because they want to be able to have it cross a platform and have a bunch of players in the server. They're actually afraid of having not so many players. Like, there's actually a lot of paid games out there that make the mistake of making it paid but not really getting a lot of people to play the game so the servers end up being empty so i do like the fact that this game is trying to avoid that and you can play this game on playstation like i said or on steam or on a bunch of other platforms so i do like that they do have a lot of um, players a big player base so you can actually have fun and you can also have a local room well, not a local room, but just a room with your friends. It would be cool if they could have a local room. I don't know if the Quest could even do that, but if they could, that would be awesome. So like I kind of mentioned earlier, there are two different ways to play. You can play with the joystick on the Quest, or you can actually play with the VR controller tracking, which was actually really cool. So playing with the virtual hand is really easy to learn but super hard to master. It took me maybe like 20 minutes to get the hang of just driving with my left hand and grabbing the drinks or um, your supers with the other hand. Also, it didn't really have much of a tutorial. It was mostly just like a picture that showed you what to do. Um, and I'm more of a do it type learning person. So I have to really like play the game to actually learn how to play. So that also didn't really help me much. Uh, the game also shows you what you can kind of expect from the gameplay um, after they show you how to use the controllers. Now, after the instructions on actually how to play, they put you on a, like a little test race uh, so you can get the feel of it, which I do like, I guess, but I wish during that race, they would have like showed you how to play. That would have made a little bit more sense and would have uh, helped the learning process a lot, at least for me. Now, a good option that I do love about this game is that it does have the option for people who get, or tend to get sick 
uh, in VR super easy. Uh, they do have the full immersion option, which is what I play on because I play VR a lot. But for someone like my girlfriend who gets sick a lot, they do also have the no motion sickness option, which is, I, I do think that's really good because then a lot of the games um, have that option in VR. So this game is a lot like a lot of different uh, racing games or like Mario karting games. Um, every time you do a race, you get some type of points and that allows you to get uh, better vehicles, um, different paints or different, um, just different things to add on to make uh, the game yours. So um, it is really customizable. Uh, for instance, when I like just finished the first game, they gave me the actual card that I would be playing as. And I'm guessing after I get a couple more points, I'm able to get a better car. So it kind of works like that. Something else that I like about this game is that it does have a lot of variety. Like they even have a drifting aspect of this game, which I didn't think they were going to put uh, for a VR game, but they do have a drifting um, aspect to this game and they actually tell you how to drift. Unlike like some games, they don't really tell you how to drift. You just have to figure it out by just pressing random buttons. They actually tell you. So I do think they want it to be uh, main focal point of the game. And they actually put me on a specific track and they said on, on this track, you're going to basically need to learn how to drift. So I thought that was a, a really cool aspect of this game. Now, one thing I didn't really care for, I don't know if it's necessarily a bad thing, but I didn't really care for it. Um, after each race, you go to uh, this next screen and you're basically, you're somehow getting points. I don't, I didn't really care to learn how it worked, um, but it's kind of like, I think it's like a matching uh, screen where you match different uh, things that you got. And if you happen to got something and you match it and you level up, I'm honestly really not sure. But anyway, this screen was kind of kind of boring. Like I didn't really care too much about it. I just wanted to get to the game. Like I get this is how you get a new car or you get um, more points, but it's just not something I really cared about. Uh, versus something in in like Mario Kart, you just you just get the points. Like you just get the points. There's nothing that you have to match up. It's nothing like that. And I kind of understand uh, it is a free game, so they have to kind of implement something like this. But I guess that's uh, one thing I, I didn't really care for um, in this game. The look of the world is kind of like a generic uh, carding game, but I don't think that was the main focus. I think the main focus is just the actual gameplay. Um, it's a gameplay that I've never really seen before in a VR type game and that might just because it's my first uh, VR karting game that I've played but the gameplay is really fun and if I had a lot of other friends who had VR I would definitely see myself playing this all the time with them. So at the end of the day I do see myself giving this game a 3 out of 5. Uh, just because of the glitches that like really annoyed me um, but uh, maybe 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 even a four because it's still um, on App Lab and the game isn't really fully out yet on Oculus Quest so actually I'll change my score to a four just because it's not a completed Oculus Quest game yet uh, this game is really fun and I do think if you have a lot of friends that also have um, a VR headset, not just Oculus Quest, they should get definitely get it and you should get it too. It is a free game, so you have nothing to lose. So I definitely think uh, you all should uh, get this game. So my final verdict for this game is a four to five, but only because it is an App Lab game. I do hope you all enjoyed this game. Uh, it was really cool making. Uh, it was my first time making this type of uh, video. And I it's not that I, I wanted to copy game ranks or anything like that. I honestly just really look up to them. Like, I've been watching game ranks since I was in what, like, high school, middle school? I honestly don't really know how long I've been watching them. But I've been watching them for a while. And they have really... Um, 
put a lot of love into what they do and that also like transferred over to me i really love just talking about vr i love vr in general so uh, all i want is to uh, make vr popular and get as most people as much people into vr as possible so uh, thank you all for watching uh, if you all want me to review some more games on Oculus Quest 2. I'll definitely do, try to do that. Uh, give me some more games that you want me to review and I'll try to review some more games. Um, and also not just App Lab games, like paid Oculus games. I want to eventually start doing that. This was just my uh, test run. So just let me know what you all think and uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And again, thanks for watching.